Henry, the youth team progressed to the second round of the FA Youth Cup on Tuesday, the first time that's ever been achieved in the club's history. You must be very proud. Yeah, pleasing. All the more pleasing because it's been a difficult run there so far. I know in the second and third qualifying round, maybe the results didn't quite show it, but this is our, you know, the second round, our fifth game in the competition. And when you're playing every Saturday, which the youth team have done so far, and you've got to fit those Tuesday games in, it's tough for a group of 16 and 17 year old lads. And um, at the moment, they're coping with it really well, and we're doing our absolute level best. All the group, Rossi, the youth team coach, Costas, um, in terms of managing managing the workloads of the players. Um, Gemma Clark in the medical department as well, doing an excellent job to make sure that the boys are as fresh as possible so they can perform as well as possible each time the game comes around. And it was a different type of game on Tuesday. You mentioned the two previous rounds where the youth team hit double figures. Obviously it was a bit more of a, of a battle on Tuesday. 1-0, Met Police were very much in the game and it must be nice to see see the team be able to sort of cope with those different scenarios and different circumstances. Yeah, it was quite similar to our first qualifying round, if you remember again, away at Tilbury, where we've actually only got our third goal to win 3-1 quite late on in the last few minutes. And it was really up against it in the last um, in the last few minutes. Against the Met Police, they were direct. They were up it, up it, up it and at us, if you like. And we had to cope with that. And um, it was a good game for our back four to really be able to cope with that. We learnt the lessons of working hard and yeah, it was good to come out on the other side of it and really controlled the game after the second goal to, to win 2-0 and pleasing to get a clean sheet. And we won't find out until Monday who the U team will face in the third round, but uh, in the second round, sorry, but you must be confident that they can go even further and hopefully draw some really big names later on in the competition. Certainly so, I mean, it, it, the favourites for us to be playing will be South End away. Make no mistake about it, that will be a very, very tough game. Um, we played them in the league, drew 2-2 with them, played very well, but didn't take our chances and got punished on the counter attack a couple of times. Ricky Duncan over there runs a really good, really good setup and has done for many years. There is an established academy, established club in the league, have been for God knows how long now and you know, we want to go over there and cause a cause an upset. And as well as success in the cup, the team returned to the top of the league at the weekend with another dramatic late win. Yeah. Pleasing to get the winner. The performance wasn't perhaps quite where we wanted it to be, but that will happen. What I'm really looking forward to is get the performance back to where we want it against Luton this weekend, which will be a tough, tough, tough game. In my eyes, from what we've seen so far this season in the league, the best team that we've come up against. Um, cracking game last time we played them at home, and we won 4-2, and we played really, really well. And I'm looking for a really positive performance, both in and out of possession at the weekend, and hopefully on the back of that comes a result. And you've spoken before about the uh, the challenges of rotating the team. We're obviously going strong in two fronts. I mean, how are the how are the players adapting to having to to continue in two competitions? And maybe sort of you've said you haven't had a first team and a cup team or anything like that in terms of getting used to different combinations and, and different starting 11s. Well, it's they've they've done okay with it. There's um. There's been times where maybe a group hasn't gelled quite as much as we'd like them to do because naturally when you're playing with new players it's about getting to know you know, their sort of intricacies of their game and then being able to adjust accordingly. But the group's doing well. You know, they're, they're on the right path. It's a path of development and as a result of that development, results are coming as well, which is even better. But the most important thing is that we've got some group of players who are getting better and better each week. And I just hope that you know in the next short term for the second years and in the longer term for the first years, so between six and eighteen months, we get, you know, a good core of these players, you know, up playing with the first team and then in years to come we've got a core core of the Academy as the Barnet as the Barnet first team. And some nice words from Martin Allen during the week praising both the players and the staff with the youth team that must mean a lot. Yeah, the manager's been absolutely brilliant from the first minute I walked in the door. He's been honest with us, we've been honest with him. We've worked together He's been really, really supportive of what we're doing, both in terms of playing players up and a hands-on approach in terms of wanting to know what's going on, watching youth team games, us feeding back to him about youth team games and training sessions, both with Graham Stack and John Nurse. And so we've seen Gary Waddock come in this week. I've been speaking to Gary numerous on numerous occasions about the youth setup. Gary's watched us play a couple of times as well. And, you know, he's got his eye on one or, one or two boys. Um, so the, the link's good. The integration is there that perhaps hasn't been there in the past and that's great credit to the manager for that.